Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Live Funding. In this episode, I want to share this note setup created using Geometry Notes in Blender 3.0. It is actually animated and you can see it's looking like a Google Wave logo. Uh, back in the days, we have Google Wave. Uh, but anyway, this is actually really simple. Um, I just want to play around with the sine wave. And you can see the setup. At first, you might think this is really complicated, but not really. This is actually super simple. So we basically have the input and we have the output. With the input, you can see a bunch of parameter and it's just like things like offset, frequency, amplitude, the usual thing involving sine wave. And there's also this uh, frame. Um, Python expression so it's just a frame um, so the way if you want to break this down normally it's a good idea to look at uh, you start from the the last node over here you can see this material assigned so I have this material just give this random color there is this realized instances and it's, I said it's really simple because you just take a look at the solid solid lines and basically it's just like that and the rest of them is dot 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 lines there are all the mechanics involving uh, sign and math this one is really simple okay so we have instance on points and what we are instancing is just a cylinder I can replace the cylinder with other objects and with the instance I have this scale scaling apply um, but I can if I'm not wrong I can I can cut this oh I, I forgot how to block this line oh anyway I cut it if I cut it it's just like a basic sine wave without the scaling happening if I plug this back, we have the scaling happenings on the cylinder. If I replace the cylinder with UV sphere, we have a totally different look. So back in the day, uh, I will be using Maya for this kind of creations, but I think this is kind of nice to be able to do this using Blender. Okay, back to what we have before, basic cylinder, and we're scaling it. Maybe let's just reopen what I have before okay so let's study this so we have um, we st I, st I have this mesh line and I have 100 something I can reduce this to just 50 for example and still this is working so I start with just a simple lines and these lines have a bunch of points depending on the count. And what I'm changing here is the position. If I just skip this, all we have is just lines with all this scaling being applied. Okay, um, the transform, I didn't really use it, but I just put it in. And I just turn this line into points and then I just simply instance this guy I didn't use the stable ID maybe I should um, but what's going on here with the position is the the wave so with the wave wave I also have this ability to randomize with noise using noise texture the wave itself is just a combination of XYZ the X is using the index. Okay, this is new. 
in Blender Geometry Nodes field. So we have index for every instance objects. Um, and this is where the sine wave happening. I'm using the index and there's this offset value being multiplied. Normally there's another multiply for frequency or amplitude. So sine wave is responsible for this. I just I just plug this to the z axis. That's why we have a sine wave. As for the scaling, the same thing happens. Combine x y z. So we have control over the x y z and the radius of the cylinder. But we can also scale the cylinder using the wave. So this is the addition, this is the multiplier, and I'm using the same index. There is also, okay, this is the offset and multiplier for the time frame. Cool thing is we can, we can duplicate this and have a different wave frequency and everything will just work. So you can play around with the parameter and have a different, totally different wave for each one of them. If you if you want to start from scratch, uh, you can do that. So start with the default cube and geometry nodes. So like I said, start with a mesh line. You plug it in and you get just a simple lines and with set position you can plug this geometry and then you can play around with the position for example if you use random value of vector you get randomness there so this is random vector value that you can perhaps you can subdivide you can turn it into a curve at the moment we don't have mesh to curve yet we have curve to mesh, we don't have mesh to curve. Anyway, we are generating random points with lines. Okay, so, so that's, that's a good start. Let's say we have only 100 points here on the mesh line and you want to turn it into a wave, you want to use math sine wave. Okay, okay let's save this very quickly simple wave so this is a good start we want to reposition this line currently it's growing in the z axis so we can use index and combine x y z as for the index that's starting from zero if you look at the spreadsheet okay this is the index zero one two three four five okay so that's good this number that growing and you can plug this into maybe in the y replace the position so now it's growing in the y axis and then you can use the same index plug into the sine wave and the z now we have this wave going on and this is just the basic you can use offset and then you can use this is another offset in the Z axis. This is the, the sine wave and then you can use multiplier. And we actually like to pipe this out. For example, this is the offset. So Let's name this group offset so we can control the offset using time frame. We have multiplier here. We can add multiplier there. So this is controlling the amplitude. This is frequency. So this is uh, how I do it. Frequency and 
and so frequency control, amplitude, and we perhaps want to control the number of points. So point counts, frequency, amplitude. So there may there. Are endless way to randomize this this is the simplest multiple wave if I'm not wrong you can easily turn this into skin modifier create armature but yep doesn't seem to work don't worry about that for now can probably use it with screw modifier but anyhow uh, so we got the line and we can turn this into points to distribute our cylinder for that we can use instance on points this usually takes geometry points it's a good idea to just turn the mesh into points I think this is better and then you can use cylinder plug this as instant objects so with cylinder we can transform rotate now we have something that's looking a little bit nicer you see how everything updates accordingly okay so now we can use the same setup so this thing should maybe become a simple node group duplicate it so this is just exactly the same thing you plug this into the scale and everything disappear what's going on it's complaining about index oh yeah doesn't like that we are plugging it behind the instance we, we need to do it after the instance okay this goes into the scale of the instance now we want to adjust the scaling in the x x axis this value scaling can control the X and the Z so we have a nicer looking wave now we can also offset it we can multiply so we have a few variations of this um, wave wavy looking objects I think I think we can also transform this yeah we can also scale it we can also scale the points So maybe wire this outside so we can have a different one for each of these wavy creatures okay as for the, the animations here if you want to have the animations you can also pipe this offset Set. this is multiplier Let's plug this into add
yeah so it's basically wave over wave over wave and if you really want to go even crazier so you can also instead instead of instancing cylinder you can instance another line like curve line but uh, maybe I'm not gonna do that maybe curve circle is enough see I'm using curve circle I can control the radius now it's looking a little bit more abstract maybe this is more what you want you can feel the curve and yeah it's a little bit more abstract it's just like a circle being animated maybe it's a good idea to put transform interesting doesn't like can rotate it do whatever yeah make more interesting animations so endless variations just for a simple wave it's a good start waves always good start for this kind of procedural thing so always look at the solid the solid lines and in this case we are using index and all this kind of something that's seeming seemingly complex this could be collapsed into a single group just called sine wave as we learn in using when using sphere chalk anyway so this is it uh, hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye